What's going on guys? Wanted to bring you a video tonight of the beginning of the setup of the Innovative Marine Tank. Um, this is where it's going to go. We finally found a home for it um, in the new house in this living room here. Um, eventually down the road I am going to set up the, uh, the big tank. It's just not going to happen now. Um, I'm not ready for that. I, I don't want to do it yet. And uh, yeah, it'll happen in the future just in due time. Um, the big tank is going to end up going right behind this dining room table here. Um, I was really wanting to put a huge tank across this wall, but since we set up these couches this way and everything, like it just kind of flows nicely and we like it. So we're going to keep it this way. But with that being said, either if I put the tank on that wall or here, it limits me to the size tank um, width wise either 24 or 28 inches. I don't want to do 30 inches because then that just gets to be sticking out a little bit too much. And also, if I put it over there, it would have been sticking past that wall. It just wouldn't have looked good. Um, so I'm going to probably go with something 24 or 28 inches and then 6 foot long. I really want a 6 foot long tank again and something taller than 20 inches. My old tank was 20 inches. I really want to do something that's uh, like 30 inches tall. But anyways, that's going to be in the future, but <clears throat> I'm really missing the hobby. I really want to do a tank right now, and this is what I have. I have this Innovative Marine tank, which is a beautiful tank. It made the move. Um, nothing got chipped, nothing got scratched. I took very good care when I moved this tank. Um, but as you can tell, it's very, very dirty. Um, there's a lot of backstory to this, and I'll just kind of hit it just a little bit, because I'm sure nobody really, really cares. But um, when we were moving, it was about a, I want to say about a week before we had to be out of our old house, uh, my wife went into preterm labor. She was pregnant at the time. And um, we ended up losing our son, who is watching over all of us. <laughs> um, so she was in the hospital for a couple of days. And when all that was said and done, I was, I was with her, you know, taking care of her and all this stuff. I had to take care of, fun well, not funeral arrangements, but uh, cremation, like just all kinds of stuff hit within the week than when we had to be out of the old house. So that left me in the end of it all with about two days that I had to be out of that house. Everything had to be out of that house. It had to, I had to uh, have professional cleaners come in and clean it because that was part of our closing that I told them that we would have professional cleaners come in and do the blinds and shampoo the carpet and all that stuff. So that really left me like a day and a half. So the tank was one of the last things left, and then this couch, and then uh, the dining room table, and some other miscellaneous shit in the garage. Um, the tank, at that point, had been neglected a lot, and everything crashed. Um, I lost every single SPS colony that I wanted to keep. The tank got overrun with hair algae. I ended up donating the corals, my scalimias, and stuff that did survive. I donated that to my LFS. Um, I had some of the very large corals that were still out of the big tank, my, my giant Tyree toadstool. I donated that to the LFS. I, I just dumped a whole bunch of stuff onto the LFS and um, he either sold it or he, I know he put my toadstool in his display tank and my big Favia brand I think went into his display tank. I donated my old tank to him that I built and he donated that to somebody else. So with all that being said, this crashed I broke the tank down in a hurry didn't clean it didn't clean any of the equipment nothing um, so here it is I'm ready to set up a tank now um, this box is full of all the stuff that was running on this tank I'm gonna be running the uh, Radeon XR 30 Pro it's a Gen 2 I ended up buying the RMS mount for it um, when I had this tank set up at the old house which I really like it there's just one thing I really really wish was changed about that and then I also bought the uh, Smart ATO, uh, which worked really good. And I'll show you guys as we're setting up this tank as this progresses how I made this work on this tank. Um, this was my, my shot at trying to uh, put a media basket in this tank. I bought the uh, Custom Caddy, which is supposed to be for this tank, but fucking Bulk, bulk Reef Supply sent me the wrong, wrong one. But I didn't have time to ship it back and all that garbage. Um, then I just have some pumps. I got the uh, MP10s in here. Oh, this is a good point. Uh, for the XR30 on this tank, um, these are the original lenses that come with it, which I don't know what degrees they are, but I'm sure somebody out there will say something. But um, it was too focused for this tank for how high, how, blah, blah, how high the RMS mount um, is. When the light is on the RMS mount, it's only about this high off the water. 
Um, and that's my complaint about the RMS mount. I wish they had an adjustment so you can move it up higher, bring it down lower. There's plenty of um, extensions that they give you that I was able to bring the light out wherever I really wanted it, but I really wish it would have came up higher so I could diffuse the light and spread it out a little bit more. So what I did to try to combat that is I bought the uh, wide angle lenses for the Radeon. And that helped a lot, but it still didn't make the coverage the way I wanted it, so I still have a gripe with the RMS mount, but <sighs> neither here or there. So um, I'm going to do this kind of in, in sections of how I set this up. We'll do like, you know, lighting and pumps and water flow, salt and, you know, all that stuff. We'll, we'll do it as a series, I guess. The best I can do it. I have a hard time keeping a series a series, but um, that's what's going on. I got 70 pounds or so of Pucani still that I used in the old fish room in that rimless 120 gallon tank. That's still in the garage. Deader than a doornail, so I'm going to have to cycle that all again. So that's what's going on, guys. I'm excited to, uh, to, to start a tank. Um, based on your guys' votes, this is going to end up being a ZOA dominated tank. ZOA Pally. Um, I think it's actually going to look really beautiful because uh, this is a low iron tank, low iron glass. And my mind was blown when I first set this tank up and just how crystal clear the colors and the corals all look through this. Because I've always had tanks with, you know, the regular glass, always had that kind of green tint to it. And um, things just didn't look like what they were. That's why I always liked looking at my tanks above because everything looks so much more vibrant. This tank with this glass, it looks amazing. That's why the new tank. There is absolutely no way in hell I am going to have a huge tank that's going to end up being SPS dominated and not have low iron glass. So the new tank will have low iron glass for at least the front plant panel if I don't go acrylic. Um, that's another video. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm very, very excited to, uh, to start, start setting up a tank again. I really miss the hobby. I miss my corals. I miss the beauty of it. And, uh, I really miss making videos. The videos are all part of the hobby for me as well. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We will uh, see you in another update, which will probably be the beginning of the setup of this, which I'm going to start it tonight, but you guys aren't going to see it yet. All right, guys. Later on.